Okay, here's here's a really easy one, so I'll, I'll let you answer. It says, what are H joints, and why are they bad? My neighbor likes giving me advice, but this is the first time I think I didn't know what he was talking about. H joints, you don't hear that term often. You hear more stair step pattern. Mm -hmm. Stair steps is when it join every two inches, and it goes for 20 boards up there, and it looks ridiculous. An H joint... Um, what do you think of an H joint? Well, I, the, the H joints I've seen have been, you know, one single H. What we're talking about is uh, when you're laying a floor and you start stagging your joints, if your joint, it really, it doesn't matter if it's an H or a stair step. If your joints are predictable, then your company come over and look at it and say, why is that so predictable in your floor? It's, it's always caused by one of two things. Either an installer that could, was going as far as he could reach and he didn't want to move to complete it and didn't take the time to work it around, or because they bought Chinese wood. All of the Chinese wood comes in set sizes. It's crazy as it sounds. Um, all the solids, they have three sizes in the box. So when, you, when you're using those three sizes, it has a propensity to get really predictable. And you may not even notice it when you're laying it, but when you get done, you look back and think, man, I've got... Every third joint is in a line, and that's just because of the size of the board. You know, everything that we sell is random length, so it's really not an issue, but it's up to whoever's installing it to look and say, okay, I just had a joint here two boards ago. I need to make sure that I'm moving this. Don't get predictable with it. And I think if you do one row at a time and finish that row, yeah. instead of trying to take 10 boards to the saw at once, that's right. I think you won't run into that problem. Right. Yeah, I, I guess the secret is have you a cut guy, okay? Yeah. Whether it's your wife, your son, your daughter, your uh, great uncle, it doesn't matter. If you're the guy that's doing the nailing, stay on the machine and let somebody else do the cutting. Man, that, that yeah. is much more efficient. When we worked together, I was always the cut man because, you know, those cuts have to be done really good and it took my my um, attention to detail. Wouldn't you say that was why? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah.